I can't believe my mask is staying on. Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. I wanted to bring you down to International Drive because all of the smaller attractions are now open. And as always, it is my duty, it is my job to bring you guys, number one, the best entertainment as I can, but number two, just to show you guys what is happening around the Orlando area as things are starting to reopen. Here in Central Florida, we have been dealing with a tropical storm and we're going to be dealing with it all week. Yesterday it poured all day long and today it's going to get pretty bad, but I do have about a two hour window and I am in that window right now. So we want to get on these attractions before they go down due to weather. I will also be testing out the new Rogue Wireless Go microphone and that is this little thing you guys are seeing clipped on my t-shirt and then the transmitter is on top of the camera and this should improve the audio on this new camera by 10 times also in the past few videos i have noticed my audio is a little bit muffled because of me wearing a mask when i'm out and about so this new microphone should really help improve with that muffled sound okay test 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 you guys should hear me good again this is completely wireless the microphone is right here as i'm stepping away and what i really like about this microphone is when i'm in the theme parks it will always pick up on my voice no matter how busy it is around me and also i can set the camera down on a tripod because I go to the theme parks alone most of the time. So I usually put the camera on a tripod and now this will allow me to walk around and I'm able to talk to you guys as the camera stays put right here. Hopefully you guys are still hearing me okay. I'm loving it so far. I'm sure I could go back further, but this is a really good distance. And I can run to you guys like this. All right, I think the test is over. Try to ride the Star Flyer in the Orlando Eye get some lunch and see what else is going on before it starts raining as the sun is starting to peek down on us. So that gives us a little bit more time. All right, I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. I have put on my mask and today I am using the carbon filter mask. The first stop I have made on today's adventure is here at the Orlando Star Flyer, but it looks like it is not open. Very interesting because it says open and they are selling tickets which is just weird because I was driving on I-4 and if you guys don't know, I-4 is just on the other side of these buildings here and then Universal is over there also. But this was up in the air with people on it. I know it is supposed to rain, but it's pretty clear right now. I'm going to go inside and see if I can get a little bit more information. Really quick, they do have ground markers, so they are ready to go. The door is locked, so maybe they are just not open just yet. There is the pricing. They have hand sanitizer out. Then over here, a warning sign. Just like Disney Springs, you could risk yourself to exposure of COVID. Of course, credit cards are preferred. I don't know. I will definitely come back because online, they do say they are open. But for now, let's head over here to the Orlando Eye, or as you guys may know, Icon Park, or I drive 360 and you do get free parking while visiting down here. Holy moly, it is dead down here. Looks like some of the restaurants are open for dining room seating. It is happy hour and currently all the bars around here are open for business. I am seeing all of these social distancing signs scattered throughout Icon Park. Mr. Blake Sheldon is bringing down one of his restaurants here to International Drive. Old Red, what the heck? The Orlando Eye is not moving. It's weird because we can see the sun is coming out, so I know it's not weather related. Okay, now I am really confused because the doors are not opening, but online it says it is open. At least Madame Toussaint's and Sea Life are open. Still don't know about the Orlando Eye, but it should be open, but they do have more ground markers. You see online, it says they are open. I don't really know what's going on today. Online, it says everything is supposed to be open, but here the doors are still locked. So I'm very confused. Maybe I'm just too early. I don't know. Let's continue walking around and see what else we can do. 
or what else is open. If you are ever in town and need a fun dining experience outside of the theme parks, I highly recommend the Sugar Factory. It's always a good time. I did take my mask off because it is not required when you're outside, but when you go inside, you do have to put the mask on. But today it is really hot and humid right before the rain comes here in Florida. It gets really extremely humid and then it starts to rain. We now have many people around the area, but one family just said they are not reopening until tomorrow. We got some good news. Looks like the Star Flyer is about to open as they are testing it right now. It opens in about 30 minutes at two o'clock PM, but it's a good sign. It's going up. Let me know down in the comments, would you do the Star Flyer? I know it's very intimidating and very scary, but it is very fun. And I just spoke with a team member. They are opening at two o'clock. I would say let's go get something to eat to kill some time. We have about 20 minutes until this is supposed to open, but I would rather save my appetite for after I ride this thing just in case, you know, you never know. Really quick, since we do have some time to kill, I've been getting some comments asking me what mask do I like the most for my time being outside. Now today I am using the carbon filter mask. This was about $20 on Amazon and of course, my Mickey mask, and this is a cloth mask. These are the ones my little cousin Destiny, she makes. And if you guys wanna order some mask, I will leave that link down in the description to her Etsy shop. And then I have just the regular medical mask. Now, my favorite, the medical mask, just because it is so lightweight and I feel like I can breathe. And also, since I am vlogging most of the time, I feel like you can hear me better when I'm using this mask. And Again, I can just breathe when it's hot outside. My second choice would be the cloth mask. Still really lightweight. I can breathe and I can talk better to the camera, but the carbon filter mask, it is very heavy. I feel like I kind of can get more fresher air because there is carbon inside and you have a carbon filter pad you can take out and replace, but this is very heavy. I feel like I have to speak up so loud when I am vlogging with the camera. So this would be last, the cloth would be second, and the first would be the medical mask. So hopefully I'm able to help you guys out if you are still planning on coming down here to Walt Disney World or Orlando when everything reopens up finally. I think I'm ready. I'm a little scared, but very excited. I need this. So I'm guessing you space every other rollout. Every event, still gonna run 50%. 50% capacity, okay. Oh my, they surprised me. There's nobody else on the swing. It's just me. Oh my goodness, it has been a long time. And I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> this is great. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ah! Ah! My mask. <laughs> Epic Universe, Downtown Orlando Universal. Whoa, okay, now it's fun. I'm used to it now. I'm all good. That is a long way down. Whatever you do, do not look down. Whoa! Woo I can't believe my mask is staying on. I really thought it would fly off, but it hasn't. <laughs> oh, this is what I needed. I needed this. <laughs> we can see the rain is starting to come in. But we beat it. Here we go. We're coming down where we started. Oh man, that was so much fun. It was scary at first, like all big attractions, but then once you get up there, it is just so fun. You're able to see the entire city from Epcot. I saw the castle, the contemporary, Epic Universe, Volcano Bay, downtown Orlando. You can see it all. And to make it a little bit more awesome, I was the first one on the Star Flyer and I was the only one on the Star Flyer. Now the staff member, a team member, whatever they call them here, 
he did tell me that they did reopen on Friday as soon as they got the approval from the Orange County Task Force to reopen. Now, I did ask him about the Orlando Eye. He said the Eye is supposed to open on June 3rd, and hopefully towards the end of the month into July, everything should reopen. But I am still very curious because I know Madame Tucson's and Sea Life, they have been open, but are they not open today? Maybe I'm gonna walk over there because I do wanna get a bite to eat. I was really looking forward to riding the eye today, but we will definitely come back. And it looks like it has not reopened. I don't know what the situation is, but apparently the whole thing is opening on June 3rd. I think I'm gonna have lunch here at Tin Roof. I've heard nothing but good things about this place. I was able to get a table. This restaurant is only operating at a 25% capacity. The theming in here is really cool. And there's TVs. This restaurant also has throwaway menus in a very limited menu. Now this looks delicious. I went with two chicken tacos, one avocado taco, and they did not have rice, which I found very weird. So I got fries and I got a margarita, a small one and a big water. And the really good news, looks like we beat the rain just in time. Tin roof was actually pretty good. I only spent $18 for three tacos, french fries and a margarita not bad at all and of course the tip today was really fun just getting back down here to international drive and just seeing everything that has already reopened a lot of the smaller attractions the eye of course has not reopened just yet but i said it in the car and i'll say it again i believe all of orlando will be back to a some sort of new normal as they're calling it but i think it'll be back to normal by mid-July if not the beginning of July. I highly recommend you guys come down here to International Drive next time you're here on vacation. Take a day and just come down here and relax away from the theme park, smaller crowds, really good restaurants, and you get to check out all the smaller attractions here on International Drive. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new here because we do this quite often. Make sure you're following me along on Instagram and check out all my links down below. And make sure you have those notifications turned on to always that way you'll always be notified when I upload a new video or even go live. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice. And YouTube, I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming. I ain't feeling lonely. In a room and it's time to end the ride. They need to slowly. For those can lift me up this time. You were the only one who got me tripping up inside. Otherwise you told me